AMD users, your AMD encoder just got a little better in OBS, which is always a good thing. So today, let's talk about what you can do to make your streams, recordings, whatever it may be, super crisp, really nice, and just that much closer to NVIDIA's NVENC encoder. Let's get into it. So there's two things you're going to want to do here. First, your OBS settings. So let's hop in here into OBS. Once we're in here, go down to settings, output. Now you want to make sure you are in the advanced output mode and in the streaming tab. So you're going to want to make sure your encoder is set to H.264. Now down here, you're going to want to copy these settings. Ignore the bitrate for now, but you're going to want to be in CBR, two second interval, quality, high, and this is new. So with OBS 28, AMD can now use B frames, which is an older technology that they got rid of for a while and they are bringing it back. And it actually does dramatically help your stream quality and your recording quality. So what you're going to want to do is set your B frames to one. Okay. And once you have that, these are also new settings with your AMF encoder. What you're gonna to wanna to type into these is max number of reference frames, four, and a high motion quality boost enable, and you wanna equal that to one. I will uh, put these in the description so you can just copy and paste. Um, and you want a space in between the two of these. So once you have that done, that right there, step one, your streams are already looking better. Now, there's something else you're going to want to do. And this was a little controversial, but I'm telling you, if you're on AMD, you got to do it. If you want to know what it is, that's stream to YouTube. But wait, there's a reason. Twitch has a max bit rate of 6,000 kilobytes per second, which for AMD and their encoder, it's frankly not enough. What you need is YouTube settings. YouTube allows you to have a 51,000 kilobytes per second maximum. Now, whether or not you can reach that depends on your Wi-Fi upload speed. So to find your Wi-Fi upload speed, you're going to want to go into your browser of choice. So I'm going to go into Chrome here. Type in internet speed test. Well, you can just use this one built right into Google. Press run speed test. So this is my download speed. But the one we are worried about is right here, your upload speed. This is what is going to allow us to control bitrate. So what that 22.6 means for me is I have a maximum of 22,600 kilobytes per second bitrate. I don't like to use my maximum because using your maximum means that if your Wi-Fi fluctuates whatsoever, you're having a bad connection. So what I have done is set mine to 20,000. That gives me just a little bit of headroom and still plenty of quality. So before I was using these settings, I was streaming to Twitch and my streams looked blocky and just flat out terrible. But now, after using these settings and streaming to YouTube, I can pull clips from my YouTube stream, use them for TikTok, for YouTube shorts, for anything you want, and they look crisp and clear. So long story short, use the new OBS settings and stream to YouTube. If you don't want to stream to YouTube, like I said, you will look better in Twitch than you did before, but you're still going to have some of that blockiness. So try out these settings for yourself like comment and subscribe it helps out my channel a lot and let me know how it goes thanks